Hi everyone. For today's topic, let us have international trade. At the end of the lesson, the learners should be able to define international trade, understand the importance of international trade on the economy, and apply business principles, tools, and techniques in the exports and import business. Before we proceed to our discussion, let us try to answer the following questions. 1. It refers to the ability of the economy to produce goods and services at a lower opportunity cost compared to trade partners. a. Opportunity cost. b. Comparative advantage. c. Economies of scale. d. International trade. The answer is b. Comparative advantage. 2. It is the exchange of goods and services between countries. a. Comparative advantage. b. Economies of scale. c. International trade. d. Opportunity cost. The answer is c. International trade. 3. He popularized the law of comparative advantage. a. Adam Smith. B. Lionel Robbins. C. Thomas Malthus. D. David Ricardo. The answer is D. David Ricardo. 4. The top gainer in the Philippine exports in June 2020. A. Metal components. B. Mineral. C. Chemical. D. Coconut oil. The answer is B. Mineral. 5. The top gainer in the Philippine imports in June 2020. A. Cereals. B. Transport equipment. C. Food and live animals. D. Mineral fuels. The answer is A. Cereals. Let us check if you still remember our lesson last time. Enumerate and discuss the types of services. If you walk in a supermarket and find products of China, the United States, Thailand, Malaysia, South Korea, you're experiencing the effects of international trade. International trade is the exchange of goods and services between countries. International trade allows countries to expand their business in the global arena. International trade is the key to the rise of the global economy where supply and demand, and so with the prices, are affected by global events. Political change in Asia, for example, could increase the cost of labor, thereby increasing the manufacturing costs for an American sneaker company based in the Philippines would increase the price charged at the local mall. A decrease in the cost of labor, on the other hand, would result in paying less for the new shoes. A product that is sold to the global market is called export, and a product that is bought from the global market is called import. Imports and exports are accounted for in the country's current account in the balance of payments. Comparative advantage. 
Comparative advantage refers to the ability of the economy to produce goods and services at a lower opportunity cost compared to trade partners. A comparative advantage gives a company the ability to sell goods and services at a lower price than its competitors and realize stronger sales margins. The law of comparative advantage is popularly attributed to an English political economist, David Ricardo in his book, On the Principles of Political Economy and Taxation, in 1817, although it is likely that Ricardo's mentor James Mill originated the analysis. Global trade allows rich countries to use their resources, whether labor, technology, or capital, more efficiently. Since countries are endowed with different assets and resources, some countries may produce the same goods more efficiently and therefore sell it cheaper than other countries. If a country cannot efficiently produce a good, it can obtain it by trading with another country that can produce more, this is known as specialization in international trade. Let's take a simple example. Country A and Country B both produce cotton sweaters and wine. Country A produces 10 sweaters and 6 bottles of wine a year while Country B produces 6 sweaters and 10 bottles of wine a year. Both can produce a total of 16 units. Country A, however, takes 3 hours to produce the 10 sweaters and 2 hours to produce the 6 bottles of wine, total of 5 hours. Country B, on the other hand, takes 1 hour to produce 10 sweaters and 3 hours to produce 6 bottles of wine, a total of 4 hours. But these two countries realize that they could produce more by focusing on those products with which they have a comparative advantage. Country A then begins to produce only wine, and Country B produces only cotton sweaters. Each country can now create a specialized output of 20 units per year and trade equal proportions of both products. As such, each country now has access to 20 units of both products. International Trade in the Philippines The country's total export sales in June 2020 amounted to US$5.33 billion, United States dollars, a decrease of 13.3% from the US$6.15 billion United States dollars total export generated in June 2019. The annual drop in June 2020 was the fourth month that total exports had consecutive negative growth. In the previous month, the export value fell at an annual rate of 26.9% while in June 2019, it gained at a rate of 3.9%. Of the top 10 major commodity groups in terms of exported value, 8 had annual decline which was led by metal components negative 30.5%, coconut oil negative 29.7%, and machinery and transport equipment negative 26.3%. Total imported goods in June 2020, which amounted to US$6.63 billion, plunged at an annual rate of 24.5%. In the previous month, the decline was faster at 40.6% while in June 2019, imports decreased by 7.2% annually. The decrement of imported goods in June 2020 was due to the decrease in 7 out of the top 10 major import commodities which were led by transport equipment negative 70.5%, mineral fuels, lubricants, and related materials negative 56.9%, and iron and steel negative 40.9%. For your activities, number 1. Enumerate the effects of the global pandemic on the international trade and economic performance of the country. Give at least 5 effects. Activity number 2. From the effects above. Identify the business environment of international trade of the country using any of the business tools, environmental scanning, SWOT analysis, or Porter's Five Forces model. You may answer this after watching the video. To summarize what you have learned in the lesson, answer the following questions. 1. What is international trade? 2. What is the importance of international trade on the economy? 
Reflect on this. Life is full of giving and take. Give thanks and take nothing for granted. Anonymous. Let us check if you have learned something today. Please answer the post-test.